Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, I know it's been so long that I haven't uploaded a video. And if you guys don't recall, I mentioned in my first video ever for 2021, that I was thinking of moving out, finding another roommate, and that is exactly what's been going on throughout this whole journey of where I've been. And yeah, I am in a new place right now, and I feel refreshed, I feel happier, and I am so happy to be back, and you guys, no, if you don't know, I love makeup so, so much and I love sharing my makeup tips and everything with you guys. So I am so blessed to be back. Last time we were celebrating 500 subscribers and now I can't believe that even though I was absent for a couple of months, we are almost hitting 700 subscribers and I just can't believe how much you guys are. Um, giving me so much support so thank you so much and if you guys see from the title of this video today we are going to review four Shane Sheen or Shane I don't know how to say it if you guys don't know Shane has been around social media for quite a while now I, I just couldn't help it and went and downloaded the app this four makeups that I'm about to show you guys I didn't go and splurge big because I just wanted to test out four key makeup items that I use every single day and that is exactly what I'm going to show you guys today. So if you guys want to see how this sheen makeup uh, perform in my face, then before we start this video, my loves, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I invite you to join my channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so that way you guys stay notified whenever I post a video. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and start this video. All right, you guys, so I'm going to show you the four items that I got on Shane and the first item that I always gravitate always it's on my makeup kit is um, a makeup sponge so I went and grabbed this baby I also went ahead and bought the green one this is the shade and this is this baby right here which I'm going to use today so if you open it up this is how the sponge looks hopefully you guys can see it but this is how the sponge looks very cute I like how the shape is I already went ahead and wet the sponge and this is how it becomes super big compared to the one that is dry so you guys see the difference I got this items like two three months ago and I was just waiting to make a makeup video, um, trying it my first time. But since that didn't happen, I went ahead and already used these items. But this is my second time that I will be using it. You guys are going to see my second time using these makeup products. And I'll tell you at the end if I still think the same about these items. Because when I tried these items, they were good. That's all I'm going to say but i'm going to uh, use them again and i will see if i still think the same or not i also got the eyeliner this is how this baby looks super super thin i don't always do my wing eyeliner but when i do i want a really precise liquid eyeliner so i went ahead and bought this to try it on and i also you guys know i love to do my lips and outline my lips so i went ahead and bought the lip liner this one is in the number 522. And then lastly but not least, I also got this mascara. And when it comes with mascara, I need a mascara that holds my lashes because if you guys can notice, my lashes are not curly at all. So I need to curl my lashes first with my curler. And after that is where the mascara comes in hand. For me personally, to really test my mascara, I have to see if the mascara holds my lashes up instead of breaking it down because when the mascara is too liquidy, it's just, I know for a fact it's not gonna work for me. But yeah guys, those are the four items that I um, bought from Shein and I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup. Let's go ahead and start the makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my primer. You guys already know, 
like even though I've been off um, YouTube I've been gravitating towards this baby every single time I do my makeup just like this I'm gonna go ahead and blend my primer with my sponge um, sometimes I like to use my hand but sometimes I also like to use oh, my sponge just to blend the primer and besides the shape like this shape is very nice very cute um, and unique but besides the shape the color is so cute you guys all right so that's that i already blended my primer so now i'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation i'm gonna use the laurel infallible pro matte foundation i'm just going to apply this baby right over here I'm gonna use the big side of the sponge to blend out my foundation. So, so far the sponge blended my foundation very nicely, very evenly, and it was easy to work with, so that is good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and use this baby right here. This is the e.l.f. concealer. I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes. Before, I used to apply so much concealer, but I recently stopped applying so much and just apply it where i need to blend the concealer and going with the sponge i'm gonna use the smaller side of the sponge to blend the concealer and then i'm going to apply some on my forehead and on my chin a little bit of my on the bridge of my nose and I'm going to go ahead and start blending. All right, you guys, so I finished blending my uh, concealer and I gotta tell you guys that the sponge, like the shape of the sponge is not um, as bad as I thought it would be because I was like, I see a lot of sharp edges, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to work with the sponge. I really like how um, flexible the sponge is. Um, I use this small area to blend my concealer and also blend it on my forehead, on my chin, and on the bridge of my nose. But I also have to say that the sponge, uh, it does absorb a little bit of your um, product. So just be careful. Um, I went ahead and applied a second layer of concealer because I felt like the sponge was taking a little bit of the product. Other than that, this sponge works great. It blends nice. So it did the job guys. So that's good. So the next product I'm going to go ahead and um, show you guys is this baby right here, the eyeliner. So as you guys can see, the eyeliner looks very pointy, very precise and i want to see how it performs for the second time so i'm gonna go off camera very quickly do my eyes and set my face do whatever i have to do and i'll come back and show you guys how this baby performs in a second all right you guys so i went ahead and already did my eyes This is how this wing eyeliner came out the eyeliner itself you guys it worked good um, it was very easy to work with so now I'm gonna go ahead and use my mascara this AP right here I've heard a lot of good things about this mascara so let's see if my second time using it works because the first time it was able to lift my eyelashes so I hope that the second time it works the very nice thing about this mascara is that it is a two-in-one mascara 
so you have your regular mascara for your upper lashes this is how the one looks like on the other side you have another wand to work on your under lashes this is super convenient if you're on the go All right, you guys, so mascara is on, and let me turn on the side so that way you guys could see that this mascara is holding my lashes up. So with that being said, you guys, I really, really love this mascara. Besides the L'Oreal Infallible Mascara that I've been using 24-7, I thankfully found another mascara to um, use and that is this baby right here all right you guys i'm gonna go off camera and apply my falsies and do the rest of my face i'm gonna come back and review the lip liner for the second time and see if it um, performs good as well so with that being said i will be right back with you guys in a second all right you guys so i am back and my makeup is already done i already did my makeup base so now the last thing i have to do is my lips All right, you guys, so this is uh, the lip liner and my first impression, well, my second impression, it is super cute. I love the color, but overall, you guys, um, the lip liner is super creamy. It is soft. It's not sticky on the lip because you will be surprised that there's lipstick that are sticky, but this one is not. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my lips. I'm going to use the um, Jeffree Star um, lipstick in the shade Naked Body and let's see if it combines well with the lip liner. I usually go back with my lip liner and outline again. Alright guys, so this is how this makeup turned out. I absolutely love how this makeup turned out. The lipstick combined with the lip liner is just absolutely stunning. It was a great combination and I like the fact that the lip liner is, again, is not too bright. And yeah, you guys, um, that is it. All the four products that I use for the second time from Sheen is amazing. I recommend these four products, the um, mascara, the lip liner, the eye liquid eyeliner, and last but not least, the makeup sponge. So yeah, you guys, if you're thinking of um, getting these products from Sheen and trying them out, I definitely encourage you to do it because it is um, very affordable and super good. As you guys can see, my makeup came out stunning. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. So without any further ado, my loves, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.